Alright, so I always want to know whether my answer is correct or not, as uh, especially for this kind of K byte questions, and I don't have the marking scheme. So, what I'm trying to do on this video is I try to use another method to see whether I I can get the same answer or not. So if I use another way and I still can get the same answer, maybe I I am very confident that my answer is correct. So. What I will do on this video is I try to draw another sector because on the last video I actually I assume the equilateral triangle actually will give us a sector. Okay, so so I a bit not convinced by myself like so much. So I I going to mix another sectors on this video. So this is what I will do also. So based on the based on this. Uh, logo over here so I assume you already read the questions you have the circular logo so we know actually this one is a perfect circle and then the question also said that the parameters of the blue color regions is 20 pi so we know basically is that all the parameter here going to give you 20 pi so yeah so the parameter equals to 20 pi right so right now what I would try to do over here is I try to form another kind of the sector. Okay, this is what I I will try to do. So I try to draw I try to separate them. And let me just redraw the line. I want to make the line look nicer a bit. Okay. So I just separate them. Okay, so if I separate this is a circle, right? If I separate them equally into a three part here so you can use a 360 divided by 3 the angle here is 120 each right 120 each this is here will be 120 here will be another 120 because total must be 360 okay so right now what I will do is I will assume this is the sector okay so let me just draw nicely a bit a little bit hard to draw Okay, I'll assume this one is a sector. Okay, so so just as uh, just to make sure you can see it, yeah, I assume this is a sector. And this is a sector, right? If I draw this line over here, imagine you try to imagine here this line. This line, I'm going to use another color. This line over here, if this line can reflect, do a reflection on the middle line here, this line actually will become like this, isn't it? Okay, so let's say you cannot see so nice, so I'm going to like erase whatever middle part here, and I just redo it again. Okay, imagine you have a sector here. Yeah, you have this sector here, and this sector just assume is follow the line. Okay, so I I assume the this is the reflection line. So what happened will happen. Uh, what happening here is assuming this line will reflect on this line, you will get something like this, isn't it? So therefore, this. If this is the sector, the black color one, is a sector, then I know this this line actually is R length. R length is R theta. And just now we proved that the middle part is 120 degree, isn't it? So which is the 120 degree, I'm going to convert it into the radian. So I will multiply pi over 180, so I get 2 pi over 3. So therefore, I can get the R length of this one easily. I will say R multiply angle 2 pi over 3 so that there, therefore I will get this art length and but what's so special about this art length is if I erase this art length here you realize this art length is the same with this art length isn't it and this uh, parameter of the blue color region actually is formed by three different of the art length here you see another one is the same and then another one so basically so if you can't see that since this is a reflection line right I can actually make a sector over here because 
they are the same sector if I make the sector over here you should be able to see I have a sector over here all right so because this parameter of the blue car region is formed by three of these so what I will do is I try to mix 3 r 2 pi over 3 equals to 20 pi see what is my r value over here why well, at 3 because just now I already proved you you have 3 of them okay you have 3 of them 1 2 3 all right so 3 and 3 simplified pi and pi I cut so I have 2 r equals to 20 then my r equals to 10 yes so 10 is exactly same value with my last video so I pretty much uh, confirm this value is correct all right if okay then we go to the another part which is the they ask you to find the area of the yellow color region okay so right now I want to find the area so if I use the sector just now see just now I say this is the reflection line isn't it so what I'm trying to do is okay just now if this is a triangle I can do a reflection triangle isn't it just assume this triangle is like perfectly reflex then it's easier for you for me to tell you all right so imagine this is your center point O okay because they are reflection this is all right so reflection this is your O then you have a sector here do you see that this is your sector okay so right now what I want to do is what I want to do is I want to use a sector minus two triangle I will minus the first triangle here and then I minus the second triangle here so if the whole sector I minus this two triangle I actually can guess this part isn't it and you know our blue color shadow region is formed by three of this part so let's say I will call this one maybe it's half of the leaf here so basically you can see if I take another half of the leaf here this is two part so if I take another half of the leaf here this is the third part do you see that I hope you I hope you can see that so basically what I will do over here is I will use the sector minus two of the triangle and then I get part of the uh, half of the leaf over here then I will time three then I can get the whole blue color region okay so this is what happens since we already know r equals to 10 so I'm going to erase everything here all right so right now I want to get the blue color shadow region so the so i will do blue blue color shaded region all right just some, sell some crazy shop for blue color shaded region all right so what i will do is i will use a sector because just now we already proved the radius is 10 isn't it so sector will be half r square theta theta just now is 2 pi over 3. all right so then i will minus both of the triangle right i will minus two triangle will be half a b which is 10 and 10 i will say 10 square also multiply 10 square multiply the sign 2 pi over 3. and once i got this answer over here i will mount i will multiply 3 for the total whole thing here because this is what happened if I use the sector to minus two of the triangle actually getting this small part at the half of the leaf here so let's see what happened here okay so this one I'm going to like type in a calculator to quickly solve this one and you need to make sure your calculator is radian as well all right so yeah multiply two pi pi I'm going to use a 3.142 to get a very accurate answer okay so multiply 2 pi over 3 all right 
and then I will minus the two and a half definitely I will simplify them so here I have uh, 100 multiply sine brackets uh, 2 pi 3.142 over 3 sine 2 pi over 3 okay nice and then the final answer I will multiply 3 so over here I will get the 54.43 yeah, this is the blue color shade region. Actually, it's quite close to my last video answer. Maybe some decimal difference. Right, so then the next thing is I want to get the yellow color shade region. Isn't it? So what I want to do over here is I will just need to find the area of triangle and then I will minus my I will minus my blue color shade region here. So triangle is very easy to find. Uh, if you if you understand you can easily like separate them and then form the triangle over here so let's say i have a triangle here this is 10 right this is 10 this is uh you can call it 120 degrees it doesn't matter so you can see actually my bl blue uh, my yellow color triangle actually formed by the three pink color triangle isn't it i call this one pink color triangle All right so i will just find the I use yellow color to represent it so yellow color triangle all right so it's three of the pink color one all right so the pink color one will be okay i use back the pink color so it will be it's just one over two um, multiply 10 multiply 10 which is 10 square and then size 120 so I'm going to I'm using the sign rule over here. Uh, just some students get lost. Uh, 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 you feel a bit lost here. It's half if half a b sine c. All right, this is the formula for triangle. Half a b sine c. All right, so then I will get the correct one. Just make sure over here you need to change back your calculator to degree. So it'll be three over two multiply hundred multiply sine hundred twenty. So yeah, I will get 129.90 cm square. So, so okay, this is yellow color triangle and not the yellow color shaded region. Okay, so the, yeah, because this color region, the question say, well, color region, I use back the same letter, color region. So I will use this value minus the blue color one. So 129.90 minus 54.43 then I should be able to get my final answer quite nice I will get 75.47 yeah so actually the answer is very very close to the to my last video answer so yeah right now I'm quite confident my answer is correct anyways I hope this video can actually give you another insights on how to solve this kind of okay, right question i believe maybe we have more than two ways to actually solving this kind of questions anyways if you know any other way or you got the, any other different method maybe you can share to me uh whether do my email or my facebook or you can post a comment below anyway if you like my video please give me a thumb up thumbs up and then help me to share my videos to your friend anyways i will see you guys on the next video bye